In this video, I'll be talking about variables and tuplets. When all of the elements I've discussed in previous videos are combined to produce larger files, the music expressions can get a lot bigger. In polyphonic music, you have lots of staves, your score files can be pretty confusing. We can reduce this confusion by using variables. Variables allow us to break up complex music expressions. There's a few things you have to remember when using variables. First, the name of the variable has to contain letters only, no numbers, underscores, or dashes. And second, you must define your variables before you can use them. Let me give you an example. Let's create a variable. I'll call mine Ives. And we're going to set Ives equal to something very simple. This time I'll do four quarter notes. Now that we have our variable, we can call it in our music. So let's go down to where measure five will be. And we're going to now use the command Ives. Put our bar check and measure five comment. Let's engrave and take a look. As you can see, our variable has now been inputted into our score. Now, variables can be a great tool for minimalist composers. It offers a lot of power and flexibility. If you'd like to use a variable in your score, make sure it looks like this. When you want to input a tuplet into your score, there's a few things you have to consider. First, the syntax has changed over the past few versions of LilyPond, so always make sure you're aware of what version you're using. In my case, the way I enter tuplets is like this. First, you use the tuplet command. Then you input the fraction, so for example, 3 against 2 and then you input your music in braces. Now I'll start by making these eighth note tuplets. And now let's engrave this. And here's our tuplet. We can also change this to be quarter note tuplets. like that. We can make them 16th notes and so forth. Now that's a quick introduction to how to enter tuplets. I'm going to cover uh, tuplets a lot more in an upcoming video, but for now I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.